All right, figured out a better way to do color gradients, or I think it's a better way. Um, that means it's a universal preset, so you don't have to do store selective and then redo it for every time you add new fixtures, theoretically. Um, so in this example, I'm going to use some of the universal color presets, but I also have my universal uh, color gradient presets that I would normally use to put into one I've made. But doing this for the first time, make sure your programmer is clear. Let's do a red through blue gradient. So select this one, gets all your fixtures, choose to activate it, go down, make a second step, pick blue, grab both steps, go into phaser overall speed and set that to zero. Now push and hold your store, embedded and make sure it's preset mode universal. Now you have that, you can clear out. And then let's make a sequence. So let's go into this one. So store a new sequence. Let's go into the sequence. Into Q1. Let's take our uh, grid one our new preset and I would normally apply an matrix pool but for this example it's not um, all you need to do over here is go phase from 0 180 and now theoretically wrong screen there we go activate this queue it's applied our color gradient across our fixtures. And done. Best part about this is you could go into your sequence or your recipe and make it so that it's another group. So we could say actually we want this to be, let's do our LED side light. Uh, if I bring that up and we go turn that down and bring our LED side light up, that now has our color gradient applied to it. Universal preset, doesn't matter what you patch in, as so long as it's got RGB values that the universal can look at, it works. Easy peasy.